Welcome back to the channel. I'm Trevor with Maker Experiment, and today I'm going to be making some custom squares using acrylic. A couple of years ago, I did a project where I replicated the 1281 square from Woodpeckers. At the time, I made this project out of MDF and did a series of painting and engraving to get the look that I wanted. At the end, it looked really cool, but it wasn't the cleanest finish that it could have had. And at the time, I wasn't really doing YouTube videos or documenting what I was doing other than taking some pictures and short videos. I decided to revisit the project, and this time I'm going to make it out of acrylic. So I'm going to make a few different kinds, and I'm still going to use some brass and aluminum metal pins that I had left over from the first time. Full disclosure, I've got permission from Woodpeckers to do this project and create a YouTube video of it. I've also gotten permission to sell the variations of squares that I am making for this video. So if you do wanna pick one up, I'll leave a link in the description below where you can customize your own. I don't have a way to verify the accuracy of the measurements or anything like that. Uh, it's just designed on the computer using ruler generators and a bunch of CAD design. So everything is set up to cut at 90 degree corners and everything like that. But again, I don't have a way to measure all that accuracy. So the squares that I'm making are more of a color customizable, fun thing to have in the shop. For this video, I'm going to be making four different variations that you'll see along the way. So I do have a variety of acrylics here. For this project, I am using cast acrylic because it engraves the best. And I am using colors where the engraving is going to show up better. So things like black or blue, I'm not going to be engraving things like white. The first thing I need to do is actually make a size gauge for these metal pins. These are the metal pins that I have. This one is made out of brass. This one is aluminum. They are about 5 8 inch in diameter and about 3 quarters of an inch long. Uh, one of my friends in town actually made them for me. These were not bought off the shelf or anything like that. So I'm going to make a gauge out of acrylic to find out what size I need to make the holes for these to easily press fit in. And then we'll start making some squares. I'm going to go over to the laser, cut the gauge, and we'll test fit these up. Here's the gauge that I made. I made this because I need to figure out what size hole I need to make in the acrylic to put these metal dowels in. For the MDF project, it was the 0.6125. For this one, I'm not quite sure. All I'm going to do is test fit this in each of the sizes, see which one it fits in best, and then go with that size. So this one looks like 0.6175. I'm just gonna make sure that I can push it all the way through fairly easily. I don't want to crack the acrylic or anything. So when I put it in the 0.62 and I push it through, it slides a little too easily for what I want. It's more of a press fit and I want it to be able to grip onto the material. So I believe the 0.6175 is the size I want to use. So I'm gonna adjust the design to the 0.6175 inch hole and start making some squares. I've gone ahead and cut a couple of first testers. So these are both black acrylic. Now the thing to keep in mind is these are not going to be as accurate as a metal square. So they're not gonna be like a precision tool, which is why I said at the beginning that these are gonna be more of a colorful novelty type of square that are just fun to have in the shop. The ruler will still work, but as far as checking for square, uh, this is not going to be as accurate as say the metal 1281 that you buy from woodpeckers and what i need to do is peel the paper off both sides i'm going to lay them back into the piece that i cut them out of engrave the design basically swap spots with them so that they go into the others and get the mirror image and engrave again and then these will be ready for some face plates I have finished machining both sides of the black squares. So this 
is what it looks like. So it still has the 1281. Uh, it has all of the marks for the ruler. And then it's the same on the backside. So there's two of those, but I want to do something different than the last time I made this project. Last time I made a square that was all black and one that was all red. This time I'm going to mix it up because I have some cool colors of acrylic. So I'm going to make uh, a few different colors and I'm also going to make one with hydro dipped face plates. So stay tuned for that part. So I'm going to cut a few more colors out, engrave those, and then start cutting out the face plates and then start putting them all together. Now that I've got the first couple of squares ready to go, I have the majority of the face plates made. The white ones are the ones that I'm going to hydro dip. So what I'm gonna do is actually lightly sand these with 400 grit sandpaper just to give a rough edge for the paint to stick to. I'm going to prime them with white paint and then hydro dip them after. So while my other stuff is engraving, let's go ahead and hydro dip. So because these two are going to be hydro dipped, I'm going to lightly sand this face and the edges I'm just using some 400 grit sandpaper, but I'm gonna go ahead and sand them a little bit just to make the surface rough enough for the paint to stick to. Again, just do it lightly and hopefully this will help the paint stick better. So while the laser is engraving, uh, so it's kind of loud in here, I'm going to go ahead and hydro dip the white pieces. I did already put the white paint primer on it. I'm going to fill up this bucket with water outside. Let's go have some fun. Okay, the water is prepped for hydro dipping. I'm going to be using the Satin Oasis Blue, the Poppy Red, and the Spring Green. So I'm going to put on my mask, spray them into here, uh, and then dunk the pieces in. I have all of the squares made. I have all of the face plates made as well. Uh, there's two that are behind the camera that are drying that were hydro dipped. As far as the color combos go, I'm going to be doing matte black with blue, pink with black, purple with pink, and then this black one here is going to get the hydro dipped ones, uh, but I have to wait for those to dry. And then I have the aluminum and brass studs. So the matte black and blue is going to get aluminum. The hydro dipped one is going to get the brass. Black and pink will get aluminum, and then the purple and pink will get brass. To assemble these, I'm just going to put the aluminum studs through the black part. So then I'm going to put the pink part. Because it's such a tight fit, um, they do have to feed down almost at the same time. And then put on the other pink plate. And there we have the pink and black square. Now that this one's done, I'm gonna go on to the other colors. Then just to make sure it's all tight, I'm going to go ahead and clamp that part together a little bit, squeeze it until all of the faces made up together. There we go. I've got all four of the squares assembled. So these are only a few of the color options that I will have, but the first one is pink and purple. So it's got the pink opaque acrylic for the part where I engraved all of the lines. Then it's got the purple opaque acrylic and it's got the brass inserts. So the two of these that have brass inserts 
are going to be basically the only two with brass just because I'm going to be doing aluminum in most of them. The second one is the black opaque acrylic with the pink opaque. And then it's got aluminum studs in it. The one for my colors, which is blue and matte black. And then this one has the aluminum as well. And then the last one, which was probably my favorite to make, is the hydro dipped one. So this one is black opaque acrylic, and then the actual face plates are hydro dipped with blue, red, green, and white spray paint. So I'm pretty happy with how that turned out, but that's how I made the replicas. So again, unfortunately, I'm not allowed to share the design files because they have asked me not to, but they did say I can sell the squares that I'm making. So if you'd like to customize your own square with your own colors and even your own logo, check the link in the description below where you have the option to pick different colors and add your logo to it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and be sure to check out my Instagram, at Maker Experiment, where I share my projects along the way. Uh, and do some voting on colors for these things as well as some other stuff. But that's gonna do it for this video and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>